I'm Finn Barr Birmingham at the International Business Times. Ten years ago, Poland joined the European Union. I'm joined by John Rendles, the Chief Executive of HSBC Poland, to discuss the past decade of Poland and the EU. John, thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure. In your own view, how much of a transformative impact has EU membership had on Poland's economy? Ten years kind of prompts uh, it's an opportunity for reflection, for considering, and I think uh, I think there's a I think the, as far as Poland's concerned, there is a fairly substantial consensus that EU membership has been a kind of pretty much an undiluted good thing. I saw one opinion poll at the time of the kind of 10th anniversary saying that the EU had a kind of 89% approval rating, you know, within Poland. Um, so I think, yeah, as far as most of it's concerned, it's been a really good thing. Um, but it was a kind of I think the other point to make is that the sense I have from listening to people you know, talk about things is that it was a kind of really important step on the path, but the story isn't kind of, you know, disaster, 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 join the EU, suddenly everything's okay. You know, um, some of the discussion that some of the, you know, some of the discussions I've been involved in recently, people saying, well, it, 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 people talked about um, joining the EU as, as a process of reintegration. You know, you'll remember that Poland has a kind of, had a, a prosperous Central European past, you know, which ended under the the kind of devastation of the war, the communist era. So um, people, you know, tend to talk about reintegrating into Europe rather than integrating. And are there any sectors in terms of exports or um, you know project work in which Poland has particularly performed well in the past ten years? Poland last year grew its exports by 5.9 percent. Um, you know, you know it, there's a high dependency still on, a, or a high focus still on the EU marketplace, um, and yet Poland still succeeded in growing its exports by almost six percent. Um, the the forecasts that we do for the kind of future trajectory of e exports paint a very positive picture for Poland. So our view. Um, on the back of a lot of analysis is that of the European economies we think that only Turkey is going to see faster export growth you know, than Poland. And of course Poland was the only uh, European Union economy not to um, experience a recession through the, yeah. the global financial crisis and the Eurozone crisis. Um, I mean does that, is that testament to how hardy the economy is and um, or perhaps you could explain how has Poland managed to, to, to avoid that sort of scenario? It feels to me like one factor is that Poland has made very, very steady, very consistent progress. You know, it's, um, there, there were some, some economic statistics to kind of quantify it, but basically it's been, it's been the most, it's had the most stable growth of any economy in Europe. Uh, and I think um, that, that stability, that predictability has been, has been valuable to it. Um, it, through whatever um, good judgment, um, uh, luck, some combination of that, it's kind of avoided bubble type you know, phenomena. Um, the banking sector in Poland is in very good shape. Capitalization is strong. There have been no problems with banks in Poland. Um, the liquidity in the marketplace is strong. Um, so I think, it's a, I think it's a combination of things. We saw, I think, Croatia joined in July, joined the EU in July last year. Um, we have the likes of Albania and Macedonia, Serbia, even Iceland on the sidelines. Side I mean, is, um, is Poland sort of the, the role model for sort of these nations who are wishing to join the EU and um, you know, how its economy has been managed and performed? I'm not an expert in kind of comparative Central European economics, or anything like that, but um, uh, you know, given the achievements that Poland um, uh, has, you know, can demonstrate, then I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's a good place to start. There are characteristics of Poland that I think are not necessarily true everywhere. So one of the things that's helped Poland stability has been its size as an economy. So it's the sixth biggest economy in Europe, 24th biggest in the world. So. Um, domestic demand provides a greater kind of degree of stability than would be true in, in smaller economies. And uh, earlier this year we saw that Poland had its um, uh, GDP growth forecast for 2014 upgraded. Yep. Um, it looks like it's, it's going in, in, the right, in the right direction. And I'm sure there are UK businesses which are looking at this and thinking, well, how can we take advantage of that? Um, I mean, in what ways have you seen um, British businesses do well? in Poland and uh, are we, what, what opportunities exist out there for, for UK companies? Most parts of Polish business, most parts of the Polish kind of business marketplace are pretty competitive. You know, it is a, it's not a place you can just 
decide to turn up and have a go. You know, it's somewhere that needs um, careful attention. You need to understand the marketplace, need to understand the drivers of it, um, need to understand what the competitive landscape looks like. You need to be very clear about your niche within that marketplace, you know, to succeed um, in Poland. But, it, but the price is worth having. You know, I said earlier it's a large economy, um, 38 million people. GDP per head has increased significantly already, but there's a clear desire on the part of many Polish people to continue closing that gap to the European average. Um, that's resulting in, you know, in a, you know, a significant growth in, um, if you like, middle class, you know, Polish people with, um, you know, lifestyle aspirations um, towards. Yeah, British brands and, uh, and those types of areas. Everyone is talking about how they can capitalize on growth in emerging markets. Um, I presume it's no different in, in Poland. How successful has Poland been in, in um, you know, exporting to China, in you know, getting its produce out to Southeast Asia and parts yeah. of Africa? I mean, is, is this a big trend? It's a very clear trend, and it's a trend that I think is, um, is developing quite quickly. It's developing off, often, often quite a low base. Um, so, I think I'm right in saying that Polish exports to China grew by about 55% in Q1 of this year. You know, year on year. Um, I haven't been able to look into the numbers in detail. Um, if you look at Polish exports um, up to about 19, up to about 2013, 75% of Polish exports were going. Um, west, you know, I guess, you know, to the uh, to the EU and to other European countries. Um, that picture is changing. So the fast growth in Polish exports is about non-EU um, exports. That includes Asia. I think last year exports to the ASEAN countries grew by about 20%. Um, exports to the Middle East is, are growing. North Africa as well. The the various departments of the Polish government is put, are putting. A, together quite determined efforts to try to support Polish companies in looking beyond Europe. Um, and, um, you know, with 6% with export growth last year, I think, the, you know, I think they've made a strong start. John Rendell, thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure.